Alexa, are you always listening? I only send audio back to Amazon when I hear you say the wake word. For more information and to view Amazon's privacy notice, visit the help section of your Alexa app. Anyways, this is the second generation Amazon Echo Dot, and it's a personal assistant that essentially gives your existing speakers Alexa's eyes and ears so that way you can speak to play music, check the weather, and give her all kinds of other commands. But there's one question that we're interested in. Alexa, what are you made of? I'm plastic, metal, and lots of ones and zeros. Well, we'll find out about that, because this is Gadget Guts. All right, it's time to talk about the guts. What can we expect to see inside of the Echo Dot? So Alexa can speak and listen, so there's bound to be a microphone array and probably a small speaker in there. We've also got some tactile buttons and really cool LEDs, so those will probably be attached to a PCB. The ports on the back could be attached to the same board, but we might be looking for a second one in there. And at first glance, I don't see any screws, so I'm gonna start prying and get this thing open. So it looks like I peeled the adhesive off of the no slip pad, which is fine. We'll peel this off too. And it looks like, yeah, we've got four Torx screws. All right, so these ended up being T8 Torx screws and they're actually pretty long, which is a good sign because if these are threaded all the way through, hopefully there's less adhesive than there were on the previous generation. If you check out the guide, you'll see we practically made a throwing star out of the last Echo Dot with the amount of picks that we had to use to pry it open. All right, so if I lift off the base and we're finally into the guts of everything. Uh, to start, we're gonna get to all the boards and everything else in a minute, but there is a hunk of plastic on the base and I think it might house the speaker. All right, so inside this hunk of plastic, we have our small speaker, and the plastic looks like it's designed in a way to amplify the sound that comes out of the bottom of the Echo Dot. Um, the speaker is pretty small, so although you could play music, if you're a music junkie like me, you're gonna wanna use the auxiliary port on the back to connect it to bigger speakers. And that's pretty much it. This is pretty lightweight. I don't think there's anything else going on inside, so let's move on to the boards. There isn't a whole lot holding this together. In fact, there's one ribbon cable keeping everything together and it's connecting the motherboard to the bottom PCB with the LEDs and the microphones on it. I think if I disconnect this ribbon cable, the, the rest of it should fall apart. So I'm gonna grab my spudger and take this off. All right, so we've got the dot disassembled and Alexa was right. She's made up of layers of plastic and metal and two PCBs and that's pretty much it. But there is some cool tech on here. So let's take a look at this board. So this is the board that sits underneath um, the buttons and the light ring. And on it, it's got seven microphones, six along the outside and one right there in the center. And they use some cool technology to help you communicate with Alexa. These four chips in the middle are analog to digital converters or ADC and they essentially act as translators for you and Alexa. You speak to Alexa in an analog voice and the ADC translates that into a digital voice that Alexa can understand. And then a DAC, a digital to analog converter, which is on the motherboard, then takes that digital voice and makes it analog again, which is what you hear coming out of the speakers in your Echo Dot. On the other side of this PCB, we've got four tactile dome switches. Uh, the switch that belongs to the action button has a light sensor on it that adjusts the LEDs according to the brightness of your room. And that's about it for that PCB. Let's move on to the motherboard. So to start, we have a MediaTek power management IC, which converts voltage coming from your USB. And then we have our system on chip wireless module that houses all of your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and GPS capabilities. Um, in the center here, we have a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 CPU, which is a MediaTek chip that does all the things. And this chip is a combination of both flash and RAM. So 
although the Echo Dot has some new and slightly invasive technology, once you get it open, it's really not that scary inside. And honestly, it's way easier to disassemble than a lot of the stuff that we tear down every day. If there's another gadget that you'd like to see the guts of, comment below and tell us. We might just feature it on our next video. I'll see you next time.